Hey everyone, this is Ty, and today I'm at the foot of Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Lookout Mountain, Tennessee, or whatever. Um, I'm at the lower incline. If you don't know anything about the incline in this area, it's like one of the steepest passenger railways in the world. It's super cool. It's been around since the 1800s. We're gonna go up the mountain to see Rock City. We're gonna try to find some scenic overlooks, uh, maybe some of the smaller tourist attractions, that type of thing. And then uh, maybe at the end of the day, I'll have a food recommendation for you if you guys are in the area. Okay, from the lower incline parking lot, we're gonna get out of here. And uh, what we're gonna do, I might've mentioned this already, we're gonna travel up three miles to Ox Highway, where we are going to stop at Sea Rock City, atop the Lookout Mountain. Yeah, so just a quick right turn here. Now here in just a moment, we're gonna go around this turn here. We're gonna cut through a small little opening where they cut down some trees and that type of thing. And hopefully you guys are gonna see one heck of a view off to the left. We've got a hairpin turn down here and then it'll be coming up right on my left. And man, it is gorgeous. It's really the view that Sea Rock City is known for, one of many views, but as far as the side of the road, when you're approaching the attraction, yeah, this is, uh, this is what Rock City's known for. There it is. I hope the GoPro does it justice, probably not because it's off in the distance a little bit, but wow, it is absolutely beautiful. And sometimes they'll have the waterfall going just full tilt, tons of water pressure coming out of there, and it looks awesome so as we approach sea rock city the main entrance this is pretty cool for a couple of different reasons well number one is free parking i mean you don't find that you go to what six flags disney world dollywood whatever you're going to pay a ton of money for parking sea rock city free parking right over here to my right you've got starbucks they have their very own starbucks i have frequented that establishment establishment many times and then over here to the left is the ticket desk area where you go to cash in your prepaid ticket, whatever you ticket you buy online. So you can get into the park. So I'm going to cruise down here, circle back around one of the back ways and uh, park the bike and get ready to go in and enjoy the day. So once you're parked, get your coffee from Starbucks walk across the street to the ticket desk and the associates will get you straight into the park now the giant red doors that are right behind me that's going to lead us into the grand corridor and this is where the trail starts so i'm going to turn around and head the other direction and uh, we're going to get this uh, tour of sea rock city gardens started Now, as I mentioned, right as you start the trail right through here, this is called the Grand Corridor. And uh, one of the things I need to be forthcoming with you guys is, is that uh, I was the IT manager here for about 10 or 11 years. So I know this place pretty well, but uh, we're gonna continue and I'm gonna find the uh, good spots and point out for you guys along the way here. Let's start with Needle's Eye. A super tight space, but a pretty cool experience. This is a very tight squeeze through here, but uh, it gets even tighter at some parts of the trail. Check this out. Sea Rock City does have a swinging bridge. We're gonna go across that for sure. 
and if uh, heights and unsure footing gives you the heebie-jeebies they also have a stone bridge that you can take as a bypass i'll take you guys over here at the stone bridge i think we can look across and see the swing bridge then we'll loop back around we'll walk back across yeah there we go Right. Part of the park that we're located on now is called Cliff Terrace. So you've got your uh, C7 states that Rock City is known for. That view is just spectacular. All right, now we're about to go through Fat Man Squeeze. I might have to take this backpack off because uh, this, <laughs> this ain't no joke. Hang on a second. It gets very, very tiny down here. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have to turn the against the rock to get out of here. Well, Sea Rock City is still so beautiful up here. I love this place. It's kind of cool when you spend, I don't know, over a decade pouring a lot of your heart, soul, energy, and effort into it, and you see it kind of continue on, and you know it's going to continue on long after you're gone. Um, that's pretty cool. Kind of kind of makes me proud to spend a little bit of time up here and, and see how things are going. It's really neat. They've made some wonderful improvements, and if you're if you're in the area, I really do highly recommend it, but uh, we got a lot more to see. So uh, let's mosey on, shall we? All right, what a great trip. Thank you for visiting Sea Rock City. All right, I enjoyed that very much, man. I miss this place, it's a lot of fun. All right, so <clears throat> a few other stops that I want to take you guys to and show you at least. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to go to this place called Sunset Rock. Now the thing about Sunset Rock is that it is, the parking lot is tiny. I mean tea tiny. But I'm going to try to get us there. And nine times out of ten, every time I stop, the parking lot is packed. So we're going to pull out of the Sea Rock City parking lot. We're going to go left to get to Sunset Rock. I'll do what I can to get us there, but here, here would be, this would be my advice. If you're thinking about coming up here, look it up on your GPS, get prepared ahead of time. Because the route that I looked up on Google Maps showed uh, maybe three or four different routes to get up here. And they all were like crazy long, like taking somebody down the mountain and back up the other side. You don't want to do that. come out of Rock City you take a left you hit this stop sign right here on Lula Lake Road you are going to take a right onto Lula Lake just like that all right so instead of following the road right here as it curves off we are just going to shoot straight on up I think this is going to put us on West Brow. So the parking lot for Sunset Rock is over here on the left. And like I mentioned before, it is small. It is tea tiny, itty, itty, bitty. Yeah, right there where that flashing lot is, that is where the parking lot is for Sunset Rock. And as you can tell, even, even at this time, uh, the parking lot is already packed, you know? But that little trail right there where that gate is, right there, 
um, you just walk down through there I think it's like a tenth of a mile hike or something like that now I could probably get away with putting the bike in these uh, little stripe sections but uh, I don't know I don't, I'm not gonna risk it I'm definitely not gonna risk it but anyway it, it's beautiful it's beautiful I I've been over there a couple of times, but every time I go by, the parking lot is just, you, you can't get in. You can't get in. So, something to consider if you're in the area. Well, I'm going to head down the mountain on the other side of Lookout and enjoy the descent. I haven't been down this way in quite some time. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. Ride safe. And I'll see you in the next one.